Hi there traders, this is Steve Miley, the market chartist for FX Explained. And here we're going to take a look at the Euro Stocks 50 future in here and also the DAX in here, the DAX future. So the Euro Stocks 50 future, the um, top 50 stocks in Europe in here, pan-European benchmark equity share stock average. And then we're going to take a look at the DAX, which is the German um, stock average, the benchmark in Germany in here for the um, for the equities, for the stocks. So um, a, a really strong start to the week in here. The market making a new, another new multi-month high in here up to 34.95 being driven higher by another uh, another monday another vaccine um announced or trial announced any results from um, um 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 moderna in here over the past 24 hours very very positive outcome on their trial for their covid19 vaccine on the back of the announcement that we had from Pfizer um, similar time last week, actually. So um, we've had this whole November rally continuing to extend, initially driven by the Biden bounce, the Biden victory. Then we saw this bull gap when Biden was announced as um, the um, as the president elect last weekend, not this weekend, just gone last weekend. Um, and then we saw the Moderna announcement and the market surging higher on that. And then the market creeping higher, the Euro stocks in here continuing to creep higher. It's liking the Biden victory a more conciliatory tone towards Europe expected from Biden so European stocks creeping higher in here and then this we had a little dip at the end of last week but then this week kicked off with strength again up to 34.95 another new multi-month high in here if we just zoom out a little bit we'll see highest point in here for the euro stock since back here since March since the, or it's actually from February now um, since the beginning of the COVID-19 breakdown took out an important resistance here previously at 34.67 and aiming up to these key levels up here now for the euro stocks 50 we've got a 36.79 and we've got a bear gap and then that's the the record high up there at 38.68 some way away but we could be there by the end of the year maybe even late um november um so a very very positive tone in here still the market has had a little dip back lower in here overnight but still hanging on to that breakout the further breakout to the upside that we saw on the back of that moderna announcement yesterday so um all very 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 positive in here for the euro stocks 50 now I'm going to take a look at the DAX and uh, just before I go do go get into the DAX in here just to say guys thank you very much for watching our videos please do hit that like button um, on the YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe as well we're going to take a look at the DAX now now the DAX is the German index the German benchmark not quite uh, managing to make new highs either the second half of last week or yesterday just for fading just fading below that peak in here that's the that surging peak there up at 13.290.5 um, was the Pfizer peak in here. But we got very close to there with the Moderna rally yesterday. And um, again, a little bit of a dip in here overnight, um, but uh, hanging on to support in here, 13.066 slash 13.05 on the DAX future, this is. Um, and that can, um, retains upside pressure. Now, down through 12.921 would be a little mini double or even triple top in here. We've got a little double slash triple top in here. Um, should we break down through 12.921? If I just zoom out a little bit to like maybe um, a 15-minute uh, chart in here, we'll be able to see that a little bit better. So here we have it here. So we have the one, two, three three tops in here so down through 12921 would be a negative but i'm not looking for that we're looking for the positivity of the recent strong november rally this recent high level consolidation to stay intact but down through 12921 would see a triple top pattern and you can see more about patterns on the link below check out the link below and you'll see more about patterns in here um, 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 with our other educational video on um, chart patterns but for me the underlying pressures are higher we took out this important and peak previously from the 12th of October with that surging rally from the Pfizer rally in here took us up through that important peak that shifted the intermediate term outlook to more bullish and we're looking for a challenge back up to this September peak at 13461 potentially this week and then still higher above there as we go through then likely into um, late November and beyond into the end of the year so um, very very bullish both short and intermediate term sentiment a little bit of a wobble in here overnight but we're looking for upside pressures to come back through i'm going to wish you all a great trading day please do stay safe out there and i'll be back with you very soon this has been steve my the market chartist for fx explained thank you so much for watching now if you like what you've seen please do hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and as always have a great trading day